Okay, so today we are going to go over a quick overview of our snow routes board. Um, this is our board that we use in Monday to make our snow routes. We use this before, during a storm, after a storm, and throughout the course of the season. So we basically work on this all season, and it's important to have it right uh, before we start the season, and then continually update it throughout the year. So if you look here, you'll see that the board is kind of long. There's a lot of information on here. Um, the overall board is called Snow Routes, and the group, it's grouped by Route Manager. So you'll see the top group is not signed by customer. These are the ones that are either renewals or ones that we're thinking might come in, but these are not actually signed yet. The next one you're going to see, for example, is Ricky T12. So each group is the route manager and the truck that they're assigned to okay so this is ricky for truck 12. he only has one location because the location he has is a little bit bigger there's a lot of guys there a lot of machines so it requires one route manager for the whole site we are doing it in-house um, and that's the only thing that will do for the whole storm if you go down a little more you'll see for example mike pinzone he is on as a route manager for this route but he is not assigned a truck yet because at this point in the season we have not figured it out some of his stuff is signed some of his stuff is in-house you'll see you have the address the copy of the contract everything should have a copy of the contract these don't look like they're uploaded yet if there's a service provider then it will be on here tied from our master sheet that you won't have to worry about. You'll just have to worry about the route sheet here. If you click on that, it gives you all of the subcontractors information. If you need to call them or text them during a storm, text is always best so we can have everything in writing. If you scroll over, you'll see notes, you'll see square feet. There's a lot of other information on here, including PARs. I won't go through every single column today. At the bottom of each route, you're going to see that there is a sum of the square feet of asphalt and walks that the route manager is responsible for. A route manager will do anywhere from 30 to 60 acres, depending on if the sites are in-house, subcontracted, how complicated they are, how long they need to be there, things like that. So you can see that Mike's managing 965 and 174. Um, you can see that Molly's route is not built yet. You can see that Megan's route, for example, Megan's in truck 27. Her route is a lot longer because everything is subcontracted. So it'll make it a lot easier to manage. So she's going to be somewhere up in the 1.3 to 1.4 uh, million square feet, uh, which is going to be not a big deal considering it's all subbed and she only has one place to manage in house. So if you have any questions on this, there is also a board that takes all of the information from this and puts it in one spot. Um, you'll see that during pre-con and during the meetings before the season starts. If you have any questions about this, you can ask Dylan, you can ask myself, call, text, whatever. Uh, that's it. Thanks.